Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I've got a great tip for you. I got it from Professor Jennifer Monroe, who you've seen on the Online Jewelry Academy before. She works with me at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising in Los Angeles, California. Now, we've shown you how to make lots of different wire-based structures on the Online Jewelry Academy, including double galleries, rings, jump rings for chains, split shank rings, all kinds of things that use wire. Now, to make your work look the most professional and clean that it can possibly be, you know that you need to refine any solder joint to remove excess solder, but not only that, you need to get rid of any file marks, sanding marks that are on that piece in order to make it bright and shiny for your client. There's a really simple way to do it, and what you need are, of course, eye protection, number one, but you'll also need a silicone kit like this one here. This is from Rio Grande. It has four different colors of silicone attachments, and these are great because they go from a coarser polish to a very fine, bright polish. What you'll need in addition to that is your round needle file, and a mandrel or spindle like this that's threaded along with one of the cylinder shaped attachments. Now, let me show you how to put it onto your flex shaft. First, you're gonna grab the handle of your flex shaft and you'll insert the spindle into the chuck. Then, take your chuck key and lock it down. So you're just gonna turn it. Once you've got it turned and, and locked down, then, if you have trouble getting these on, what you can do is just leave your chuck key in place. That will lock this up, and then you can just screw that cylinder onto the spindle really easily, and then take out your chuck key so you're ready to work. Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your needle file, and what you wanna do is you wanna make a groove, but don't make the groove too deep. In other words, you just wanna initiate a groove the actual work will wear in the groove. So what you do is position your needle file towards the end of the cylinder and then hit the gas pedal and get it going. Okay, so you can see that I've created a nice groove on the end of this cylinder. And what that allows me to do is to pick up my work and then just work over it staying in the groove like this. That way you have ultimate control over your polishing. I hope you like this tip. If you do, be sure to like this video and check out the other videos that we have on our website at onlinejewelryacademy.com. If you're not a subscriber yet, hit the button in the lower right hand corner of your screen and subscribe. You'll get weekly notices of new videos. We also regularly post to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you'd like to support the production of future videos, you can do so by making a contribution to us through patreon.com. Thanks for watching. That was great. You got it in one take. There you go. I knew I could because I had dreamt about this video. <laughs>